this is uh, Hansel's uh, BMW M4. We took photos of this. Uh, Wentz and Joe and Harper and I were out taking photos for this uh, on Saturday. Uh, and I haven't even this is I haven't touched any of these photos yet. So uh, Hansel, if you're watching either live or or, or later, um, definitely uh, this this is your car. So let, let's see what we can do with it, right? Uh, I take a usually a different approach when it comes to car photos um, because you know with a landscape you're affecting like everything as a whole, but a car photo is kind of a, a mix of everything. You've got a landscape, you've also got a portrait in a way because of your subject. Uh, and you have to worry about all the different things around the car as well, right? So uh, we're starting with this one. Uh, we took this over in Snoqualmie, and as you can see, there's kind of a ghostly little bridge in the background here, but I think I want to bring that out a little bit more. But the red is nicely stands out against the background and all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's see what we can do with this. Um, First of all, I'm going to hit these just to see where I've got some. So I got some dark spots here. You can see that the blue is like the dark areas. Uh, so I need to make sure that I bounce that out a little bit because I do want to bring out this bridge in the back. So let's start with a dehaze and see what that does. So you can see the bridge kind of coming out there, right? But it's also affecting the car a little bit too much, and that's a lot of dehaze, so I don't want to do that quite necessarily. Let's see how well this can select a subject. I haven't even tried this with a car yet, so let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, wow. That's uh, that's pretty damn good. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with that. Now, obviously, I, I want to affect everything around the car, so instead of just instead of this i'm gonna hit the invert up here and that should affect everything else and it's fine it kind of leaks over a little bit because we can clean that up a little bit later you notice also the the uh the mirror isn't showing up over there but we'll, we'll get back to that so let's say this is the everything except the car and now let's uh hit that dehaze so the car stays intact, and now the dehaze is affecting everything else, which is pretty cool. I don't want to do too much because then it gets to get a little too, too dark, right? So we'll just go maybe about 35 like that. Get a little bit of clarity in there as well to bring out a little bit more, and uh, we'll decrease the exposure. Now, when I decrease the exposure here because I'm doing this for everything outside of the car, the car is going to stay the same exposure and it actually brings the car out a little bit uh, and it makes it stand out a little bit more against the background, which is great. It's actually kind of what we want to do. So let's uh, decrease that exposure a little bit and that helps bring the bridge out. Um, and let's bring the highlights down a little. Shadows, it's starting to get a little dark over here on like the tree trunk. So let's see if I can increase that a little bit. And the blacks. Yeah, like that. And the white. So if I bring the whites down, it really kind of gets a little spooky. Um, and then a little bit of texture. I'm gonna increase the saturation a little bit just because like the green is a nice contrast to the red, right? And uh, if I keep this, if I lower the saturation, it, it, it has kind of this like, it's a little muted, right? And I don't really, I want it to balance out a little bit. I mean, I think the muted actually looks pretty cool, but uh, I wanna balance it out a little bit. So let's increase the saturation a little bit there. And the temperature. Ooh. So if you go to the colder temperature, that's usually a little bit more kind of a spooky feel, right? Uh, if you warm it up, it's it doesn't look right. So let's let's go a little colder. And we'll adjust the tint a little bit as well. Now no, notice that I, because it's affecting everything but the car. See how it's in the in this in the windows here. It's not being affected. That was one of the things that you can easily miss if you're not really paying attention, right? This is definitely one of those 
uh, attention to detail moments. So because of that, what I want to do is I'm going to add to this. So I'm going to add uh, with a brush and I'm just going to brush in this area here uh, on the window to make sure that we, we get that covered. And that's kind of that same area over here too. There's definitely a little bit here, but I don't want to. I don't. I want to be careful on this side because this is really just the uh, the driver's side, right? And I don't want to undo that a little bit. I think I need to decrease the flow a little bit on this one so that it doesn't you can you can notice it's slightly but it's not gonna overpower what you have on, on the actual car itself yeah that's pretty good okay that that's pretty good all right so Let's take, let's work on the overall exposure and stuff at this point. So I'm going to increase the overall saturation just a tiny bit. You have to be careful of the red because the reds are usually very difficult for most cameras to get right. Um, like they can get a little too oversaturated, like it's a little too red, right? So. Uh, I'm going to take the saturation here and we'll go on the red and so then it starts getting too pale. So the way you combat this is you take the saturation down a little bit and then you take the luminance and you can adjust the luminance um, to make it a little bit more uh, darkened a little bit. But I think that's a little bit too much. So let's go back. We'll actually go with the luminance first. Yeah, and bring that down a little bit. So just adjusting the luminance actually works because if you have too much, it's like you can see how bright that really gets, right? So, but I don't want to go too dark because now you have like a maroon car, and you don't want that either. So uh, let's uh, let's just ch slightly change that. Here, let's adjust these tone curves a little bit. So I'm gonna bring this down, give it a little bit more contrast. I'm gonna add a separate one. Whoa! Definitely don't want to do that. I break if you bring this down up from the, the very corner left you can see how that gives it kind of a matte look right but what you sacrifice is like a true black right so if it's super flattened out like this if you look down here see it, it's it's muddy right it's like a muddy black and that's kind of that faded film look but sometimes you don't want to overdo that because then it just like it doesn't look right um so I'm gonna undo that, but I'm gonna I am gonna do just a little bit just to give it a little bit of an effect. But I want to maintain those actual blacks on there, right? And then I'm gonna adjust this up here a little bit as well. And I'm gonna increase the overall exposure because and and then I'm gonna bring it down a little bit on the on the edges. So let's do the overall exposure here. To make sure that the car is nicely exposed and then some of the highlights down a little bit bring up those shadows just slightly the whites we can take down a little bit and then the blacks we want we definitely want to keep the blacks so we're gonna keep that like that that's actually pretty decent now it's it is definitely cold because of the mass that I applied for everything except the car, right? Now, if I reset that back to where it was, that's actually, it's okay. But I, I like how cold this is. So let's keep that 
as that is but then let's make some adjustments to like the sides and stuff like that uh like this area over here we can make some adjustments so let's do a another mask and we'll go with a uh, linear gradient and i'm gonna drag that from the side here like so and i want to warm this one up a little bit and the nice thing about warming this up is it because there's a lot of like dead leaves and stuff it, it actually warms up those leaves as well yeah a little bit of adjustment to the tint too we can also change the hue we definitely don't want purple that's not right we don't want green so let's actually not worry about that but let's increase the saturation on this area and I think I want to extend this a little bit more, so let's bring this out a little bit. Uh, yeah. A little bit of dehaze. Uh, no, I don't do that. Let's do texture. Let me bring out those leaves. That's pretty good. All right, I like that. Let's call this uh, ground, right? And I kind of want to do the same thing to the front uh, ground as well. So I'm going to duplicate this. Um, and then I'm going to drag it over. I'm going to flip that around a little bit. Like so bring that over here. Drag it a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that, that's standing out pretty good. There's a little bit of a bright spot on the headlight. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take uh, the another mask. Actually, we're going to make sure this is called ground front. So I'm going to take a brush. And I'm just going to adjust the exposure on this down a little bit. So uh, let me brush this real quick here on the headlight. Uh, see, my flow is not all the way up. So let's, uh, I knew there was something wrong, wrong with that. So let's go brush. I want my flow at 100% this time. There we go. Okay, and I'm gonna decrease the exposure on the headlight just a little bit so that we don't have that really super bright spot there. And it evens it out. There you go, let's, uh, so you can see the difference because you can see how dark this one is I want to kind of match that a little bit to make sure that it's uh, the other side isn't standing out too much so do that call this one passenger headlight exposure Kelly hello long time no see all right so that's pretty good on the headlamp there got our leaves uh we've got this background here and it looks kind of spooky i think i want to make that a little bit spookier in a way so let's make adjustment to that mask um but i, I want it to adjust this area so we're going to do another uh linear gradient like this a little bit oh yeah and I like how that's making the bridge really kind of come out now right all this uh, foggy background and I'll make some other adjustments here highlights a little bit Increase the blacks. That actually makes it kind of a little bit more 
misty, yet you can see through it. So let's, that's kind of cool. Let's, let's build that. Blacks down a little bit. This might be a little too much on the blacks. Adjust it all down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, nope, I want to adjust the clarity. Oh, that's pretty good. I think I need to make adjustments down here again, though. And then we can go to color grading. some cooler shadows with some blues. Some warmish highlights. I gotta be careful with the red though on the car, right? Um, Cause like this side is starting to look a little pink. Not necessarily want that, so let's uh, go back to the this side over here. Now the hue one is really interesting because I can actually take this and just like you can see how much more pink that gets. Or I could totally just change it to like an orange car. <laughs> no, I don't think Hansel's gonna like that. So we're we're not gonna we're not gonna adjust that hue. But uh, I just want to make sure that we have an even even color on the front of the car here. So let's see. Slight adjustments to the saturation. Yeah, bring that down a little bit, and then balance it out with some luminance. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, you can get really creative too. Like you've got like the greens and stuff. So if you actually go all the way down on the right hand side here, you have uh, calibration and it actually lets you calibrate some specific things. So the best way to describe this is when you're adjusting things like your, your saturation and your luminance up here, that's affecting like what this perceives as like a green or a yellow or an orange or a red, right? But if you actually go down to the calibration, what you're actually calibrating here is what exactly is a red? What exactly is a green? So I know Wentz and Andy and, and Jeremy, you, it's, it's, this is how you're calibrating the color itself. And that's going to tell you then uh, to describe to the rest of the photo what, what actually is a green, right? So let's say if I want to change the greens down here and, and change what that hue looks like, you can see how the, the greens specifically are affected. So if I move this all the way to the left, the greens are a lot more like yellowish, right? And if I move it all the way to the right, the greens are super green, but you can also see because remember this is an RGB, it's 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 red, blue, green photo. That green hue also affects the reds because you're adding more green to that overall red and stuff, right? So you, you can, you gotta be a little careful with it, but you can actually get some really cool effects with it if you play around. So, um, let's change the saturation a little bit. And you can see even just me decreasing the green saturation affects the red. And increasing it also this. Actually, I'm gonna increase that a little bit. Make that red stand out just a little bit more. You can also add tint to the shadows too. I don't really want to go purple though. Yeah, it, it is interesting. Like it, it's this is something that 
you don't really think about, right? You're just thinking like, oh, of course, a green is the green, but you actually have more control, you, and, and there's different versions of this, right? So you can actually change it to like uh, what what Light Room perceived as a green, like years ago compared to what it does now, right? Um, so let's do that. Let's change the blue a little bit. Now, if I see how how this one changes stuff, but look how orange and red everything got down at the bottom, and look how blue this is over here. It looks totally different, right? And that's because I changed the hue all the way down to like the the aqua color. But if I go all the way blue, now everything is purple, and the green is really standing out. So I'm not gonna adjust that too much, but um, just gives you a demonstration of how that color perception is um but i think this is pretty good right now uh, i think that's a good effect i don't know if we'll keep this for like all the rest of hansel's photos but uh definitely a nice kind of spooky halloween thing we got going on here uh and, and i think it works pretty well